Alright, so welcome back to Sniper Elite V2. This is uh, one of the last missions, so yeah, there's, there's only really about two more missions left inside the game, and uh, that's it. And uh, you can read the briefing once again if you'd like, but we're pretty much going to take a visit into uh, the Germans, uh, Germany's uh, HQ. So, that being said, let's uh, continue moving forward with this. To that um, there's more of that uh, two-sided fighting going on you can see the kind of German troops on that side and the Russian troops on this side I'm just gonna pick off these Russian ones first because they uh, like you know the troop quality was better on the Russian side I'm not really sure if that was uh, really all that simulated inside the game but the Russians definitely did have better troops than the the Germans at this late point during the war. Boom. Uh, you know, simply because most of the men inside Germany is already used up. They were um, either all wounded or were dead, really. There wasn't anyone else to draft up, whereas the, the USSR, obviously being a larger country... What the heck is shooting at me? Um, being a bigger country, you could uh, get some more people. Now, since the war actually advanced outside of uh, Russia, where is this person? The Russians actually had a lot more time to, you know, properly train their troops. They didn't uh, do the enemy at the gate type of rushes, just blindly charging to machine guns or any of that, so kind of made things a lot better for them. And at this stage of the, the battle, there was a, kind of like an eerie uh, calm just all over the place where, you know, there are still people, civilians inside the city, some people they couldn't actually move, like uh, hospitalized patients and the old people, so, uh oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So there was like this, uh, this kind of calm where there would be all this fighting going on in uh, one street and then on say the next block everything would be kind of a little tranquil, a little deserted. Like so, there's definitely that odd sense there. It's kind of strange how uh, you get caught up in the battle inside this uh, little place. And I bit my tongue earlier, so it actually hurts to talk, but uh, uh, that's another story. Boom. Oh, it's gonna set off his grenade, yes. I love when that happens. It's a real shame that you guys had to uh, miss out on so many uh, trick shots. I I do later or in previous recordings that I didn't think was uh, all that good. And if I have the time, I'll probably actually make a montage or something as such out of that. But that's, that's for later. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm kind of a little busy with things. I still have to do uh, a preview of Iron Front Liberation and uh, another game called Crater. So, uh, that being said, I also have to do some finals uh, this month, and I'm just a little rushed in general, so I kind of just want to finish off the series and get on start with that. This stage is like, it's kind of two part, which is kind of nice, it's uh actually a bit more longer than normally what the missions would be for for instance like we had to go through uh, this initial fight here which was actually really nicely done I think it really uh, 
dropped you into the middle of the battle between the Germans and the Russians really well and then uh, you would pretty much come over here there's a subway uh, tunnel just to kind of bridge the two places up uh, for loading and such would have been cool to see uh, civilians once again you know just kind of huddled around where like even in here I think it would have been cool to have something like that As some of you may know, uh, the Berlin Underground is actually pretty big, and gotta pull out the wheel rod pistol. Actually, there are bombs dropping around me. I, I don't even need to use that. Come on, come on. But did it just stop? There we go. Now if I recall there are actually some more people on the ground. There's this gentleman over here. And uh, the first time I tried to go through this, I, uh, I tried to go for an all stealth run which was uh, really difficult considering how open this place is. And This is actually one of the really really beautiful areas inside the game. Uh, later on when we actually climb into uh, some of these buildings. I'll do this right now actually just so that uh, we can kind of fight these people on a uh, more advantageous position. Is that really the only two people? Yeah, helmets don't actually, you know, provide any real protection on the head. They, um, you know, they're, they're not meant to be actually stopping rounds. They kind of are just there to make sure nothing falls and hits you on the head. And really does much, but helmets don't really provide all that much protection. Even nowadays, I don't think they provide all that much. Oh, wow. Can't believe how many of those I've uh, gotten inside this video already. All right, there we go. So we're going to like Wolf's office right now, which uh... oh god. Which is a little odd because it's actually like a pretty tiny for what I would assume that he has. Like just just look at this, it's like a little room with nothing inside it. The room was a mess. The crowds had gutted it. All the papers were taken or burnt. There had to be something here that could help. It's an old trick, but a good one. Bingo. This had to be Volf's escape plan. But before I could keep my date with that maniac, I needed to stop the V2 launch. There was nothing here to help me with that. My only chance now was the ministry building across the square. It's a little odd how, like, the guy just figures, you know, I need to do that right now. And then starts scribbling, but that's alright. <laughs> I really hope this gets him on and I can avoid fighting him. No. Nope. Dink. I love that. That really it I remember a lot more troops but uh yeah it uh oh guess not there we go let's 
run inside, run inside, grab out the MP40. Hopefully that will help us. Yes, it will. And later on, we have a really big sniper battle uh, on this square. At the moment, I'm not really sure uh, where we are actually going. I think you just kind of come up here and... Uh, is there another cutscene or something? Yes, there is, actually. The map showed all the possible launch sites around Berlin. Only one was still operational and in Russian occupied territory. That had to be the place. Alright, sniper battle time. So I tried to do this on sniper elite difficulty and like it, it's the same thing as before right where there's always like two snipers pointing their guns at you so uh, you know you get hit by one and you get hit by the other one really really fast. And it's pretty much a KO every single time. This guy, I'm not really sure where he is. Boom! That barely nicked him, just, just kind of like skinned him across the neck and that's really it. I'm not mistaken, there should also be one somewhere around here, and there should be another one like as soon as we come over here. There's gonna be another one up here. Yeah. As soon as we take out him, another one like comes and replaces him uh, somewhere around here. Once more, there's still more people around here. Alright, so now, uh, we come over here and there's two more snipers, so this place, like, like you see, it, it's just like one really big, uh, dead, like, kill zone, pretty much. Where is this guy? There we go. I'm just gonna try and run across me back and get here safely, and I think that's it. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Probably try to finish off the series uh, next week or this week. So goodbye, and like the video and subscribe. Yada yada yada.